thought I just saw when I was standing in the back over there. Look like y'all was in the village. I really thank her for being here because just to see the way you guys like really paying attention and everybody's like focused in like a village. It was like she teaching. It was beautiful. So thank you a lot, you. Leonard and Mia, I got it right, didn't I? Let's see there. All right, these two tickets is for y'all for this next show. Okay. All right. you. Thank you. All right, this is for the next show. This is for uh, Anthony and Shalanda. Jay Rich, what's up, Jay Rich? Come see you, baby. Come see you, baby. Come on by me. What's up, boy? Happy birthday, good brother. All right. All right, look, I got one ticket I'm about to give away. One ticket? We got married couples. Right? Well, anyway, you know what I'm I got two tickets I'm about to give Watch this here, though. Y'all got to earn it, though. You got to earn it, man. Anniversary was good. Now, I'm going to say this real fast and your catch me missing. Because y'all got flyers on every seat. So tell me when is Black for seen and you get this ticket. Five. Four.
time. So you like her, huh? You like her? Alright, so this is what you gotta do. I'm gonna let her slide. Since you like her, come on up here. You start it. Come on up here. That's what you get. Come on up here. Come on up here. Hey, this up you
medication, frustration, and alienation. Subliminal messages sent forth that eliminate those who wouldn't assimilate. So I speak out, so I speak out, you see, because our bodies are too heavy to hang from trees. Yeah. My body's too heavy to hang from a tree. And you cannot assassinate the truth, and the truth cannot be killed. My mind became heavy as I learned to unlock the doors to ignorance. My mind became uplifted when I found that life could be lived harmoniously. Mm. And my mind became enlightened when I found out that there's no need for poverty and that there's no place for envy and that greed is one of the tools used to enslave the souls of souls of restless beings. They have so much energy, they lose folks to life's most precious reality, which is you and me. See, life is more than a game of chances. Life is more than do or die circumstances because the ones that stand make it. Because life is bigger than any one person issues. Issues that have been used to captivate you and mesmerize you and defeat you. And if you can be tricked into shutting down, isolating, and medicate, then you too can elevate yourself with a mass of fools while they're clowning themselves. That you too can emulate those who stood the fire's flame of biases, discrimination, contradiction, and torture chambers. Ah, uh, but you can reach a lofty place in the afterlife. But in this life, you should fight for the cause and freedom for us all, for every light should shine. And reality of life is to live, live in the glory, reap the benefits provided by you by your maker. For your maker did not make a mistake, for all there is, is for you. See, my body is too heavy to hang from a tree. And I bow down only to one that has a power greater than me. And from life interpretations I've gained, knowledge, strength, and determination to succeed, you see, my body is too heavy to hang from a tree. Hey, hey, hey. Mathematics, he teach all that. I'm trying to tell you, that's a science in his own. What's three point two? Man, y'all slow. Anyway, the brother tours all around the world with his rap. He's a positive brother. I want you, ladies and gentlemen, give this man a big hand, Mr. Tyson Amir. Good evening, how y'all doing? So my name is Tyson Amir, can you hear me over there? Okay? Alright. Um, I thank you, Brother Frank, for the invitation. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. Beautiful evening to see y'all here. And, uh, you know, I want to share a couple of things. I was supposed to do some music with my DJ. He had an emergency. Grab the mic, man. So he wasn't able to make it, so I'm going to spit some stuff for y'all on stage. First thing I'm going to do is entitled, but it's untitled, so we'll just jump into it. it goes. When it's night time, I seek the skyline for the soul and some peace of mind. Shots ring out. Young folks die before they find out who they are. I watch the moon and the stars align. I put my soul in every word in these bars and rhymes so y'all can feel what resides in this heart of mine. It's Palestine and Columbine to Oscar Grant. He lost life without committing a crime. It's one shot to the head from the one time. It's one more dead scene that we don't mind. I see the signs of the last days in time, and now I'm going out a whole world gonna go blind. So I walk through the valley of the shadow of death in perpetual night. I try to see what it's like to live my life without my sight. But every time that I hold the mic, I shine my light for the world to see wrong from right. My songs are like the Psalms of David the Israelite because the calm is right before the storm is in a warm fight. Move your palms and nights because the crooked types are lurking just to strike. Who you least expect, protect your queen, protect your neck, respect the dean and watch your step as we traverse through the perilous landscape of America with sinister characters when it's smiling your face, backstab while they stare at you, and if you fall down they're gonna embarrass you, the type to bury you alive if they have two crabs in the pot, if you rise then they snap you, this is the snap fool. Catch 22 to be in the audacity of your hope, got me back at it again with my pad and my pen. 
When the beat is feeling, my RC super friends let it begin. But wait, we baptized by fire, lies and hate inquire and minds but they inspire and lines can make a young child who aspires to rise in great dream colossus. From Chicago to Harvard to the Oval Office is an offer. What do we offer? It's prisons and coffins, see it far too often. In the jail cells, I hear my brothers calling for change. First you gotta crawl for you walk, bear me out now. Now we back to the same, same block, same game, same mind state. Hustle to get that paper up and elevate crime rate. I give them two months, that's about how much time take for the cycle to repeat. Now he's back behind the gate, I'm mm -hmm. back behind the page. Yeah. Back to the wall, my pen is back in my hand, cause I'm back to find a way. I'm back in the lab, that's because I got more to say, and I'm back on my job, and no, I ain't going away. As we all know, February, Black History Month, right. and so, um, yeah, I want to share a piece that it's entitled The Dream Revisited. I wrote it after, you know, studying, spending a lot of time with the brother Dr. Doc, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to update what has taken place since, you know, one of the things that America tries to freeze that moment of him is I have a dream speech. And so this is what this is about. You want to know my dreams? See, I sleep to the sounds of M16s because mostly blacks and browns died on the front lines in Vietnam and hell aromas of napalm and carpet bombs through my lungs and exhale screams of Viet Cong and a language foreign to my native tongue. Agent Orange burns my chromosomes like Gulf War syndrome, putting holes in my girl's ovaries. Babies born to form my words form this ghetto poetry. And many nights I was torn from rest like the police dogs who tore my flesh, muscle from bone. For freedom, we marched determined. Both bull Connors and Mark Furman's turned on little innocent children of powerful fire hose. Now my dreams consist of buildings named Autobahn where bullets rip through my torso like El Hajj Malik, El Shabazz, Malcolm X, with stretch marks on my neck. Lynched, hung, under a southern sun, they cut my penis off because they into them phallic symbols. And I sweat profusely in my sleep because even in my dreams I have to stay on my toes, nimble like Bo Jangles, Bo Jackson. So now we shuffle, shuck, job to stay alive in black cleats as athletes over in black face with buck teeth like buckwheat. You see these types, they be stereo. So they surround me like Sam. Y'all, we victims of these terrible scenarios. And some of us lose faith, which is one of the signs of a crazy world. Well, we don't go to the mosque or to the church no more, because that's where they blow up four little girls. And many nights I had to make the street my pillow. And it's where I dream dreams of poverty and skin disease, because eczema covers my epidermis from shooting smack and HIV infected hypodermic needles convulsions in a fetal, fetal position in the back of a dark alley as the poison kills parts of my cerebral cortex cause y'all we already dead to them more or less so in my dreams my children play with death some smoke cess and others drink liquid death and pack weapons of death on their waistline capable of causing an instant flatline and tech nines and latest designs of high powered weaponry I think y'all can see that these dreams ain't no friend of mine because in most dreams y'all I'm claustrophobic because I'm chained in the belly of slave ships with my brothers and sisters all confined behind cells bar six by nine doing time 25 to life cause my third strike was death of a slice of pizza Hey, yo, judge. Man, I was hoping you can see I'm just this hungry child on welfare with these crazy dreams of being a fresh prince of Bel Air. But now I'm the cell of a, but now I'm the prince of a cell with mildew and still air. Well, a white guard will come escort me to a courtyard where I get to see the sun for one hour of the day, then back to the locker. But you see, this brother named Nas, he told me with well, words like this I never sleep, because sleep is the cousin of death. Y'all yeah, trying to take that advice because this dream sleep ain't nothing nice. Because y'all, in my dream sleep is what zombies or fiends speak. And I walk with bodies riddled by bullets because of these mean streets. Where these demon police will leave you bleeding for speeding in a white Hyundai. And on a wrong day, if you're dreaming in your car, 
and you wake up with guns drawn and you respond the wrong way, mm. bombs away. Mm. Bullet holes and drive aside windows mm. and doors. What the thing be is these dreams, they're metaphors, reflections of what I see in my 24-7. The suffering, the oppression, the hustling without resting, the poverty, the depression, there are realities without question. Yes, sir. And when I rest my head at night, you see my dreams, they manifest them.